This is the moment, no turning back. One drop on your lips and the spell will take effect. What is going on guys? Joey Subs here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Grandma's Apron and you know what that means. That's right, today we are making some anabolic high protein recipes and even better, we're making them in the air fryer. I got my nipple out as my sous chef and I have my brand new air fryer. But today we're making three recipes with three ingredients, three main ingredients. Now these recipes you can have for breakfast, you can have them for dessert, you can have them as a snack during the day and they're gonna one, fill you up, two, taste absolutely insane and three, be high protein with lower calories and much better than the real thing. So without further ado, I'm gonna let you go ahead, go down below, absolutely obliterate that smash, that smash button for me, that like button for me. It does help this video get out to more people and it helps my channel get out to more people, which helps my recipes get out to more people and that is the goal. If you wanna see these recipes used in my everyday vlogs, make sure to subscribe to the channel, become a subscriber. We're doing a full Road to Rip series right now where I show you exactly what I'm doing to get in the best shape of your life for summertime. So with all that being said, let me show you exactly what you're gonna need for each one of these recipes. All right, so the three main ingredients we're using for this recipe is self-rising flour, some sort of protein. I'm using a whey casein blend because it does bake a little better. And I'm gonna use some fat-free Greek yogurt. This is the Dan and Light and Fit vanilla flavor. Besides that, all you're gonna need is everything but the bagel seasoning and some sort of cream cheese, whether it's fat-free or like I'm using the whipped. And for recipe number two, we're gonna use the exact same first three ingredients, but we're also gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, some Walden Farms or any low calorie syrup, brown swerve sugar, and then I'm actually not gonna use the next two ingredients. And for recipe number three, our donut bites. Like I said before, same first three ingredients. This time you're gonna use a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter white. We're gonna use some of the brown sugar swerve, some of the granular sugar swerve, and some of the confectionery sugar swerve with a little bit of fat-free Fairlife milk. So that is everything you're gonna need. Now, like I said earlier, we are gonna be using my brand new Kusori air fryer. Yes, they did send me this air fryer out. And yes, I had been using one for about five years beforehand before it finally broke. So huge shout out for them for sending this one out to me. Cannot wait to use it today. It's actually their dual blaze air fryer. So as you can see, it has a coil on the bottom and a coil on top. That way it cooks much more evenly and you have a really good size tray in here so you can fit all the stuff we're gonna make today. Another quick note about the air fryer is it's actually a smart air fryer, so I can connect it to my phone, use my smart assistant, set timers, start cooking and stuff like that. One, the build quality on the Kasori has been absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, used my old one for about five years, almost every single day. Second, they're much quieter than a normal air fryer is. And three, the even crispiness you get is just to die for on an air fryer. So super excited to use that. Let's go ahead and get straight into making these. All right, first things first, we're gonna make the dough for all three of these recipes and it all starts exactly the same. You're gonna get a bowl, add about 100 grams of your self-rising flour, then one scoop of protein powder or like roughly 30 grams. Like I said, I am using a whey casein blend here because I do find that it bakes better or is better when used in cooking recipes uh, and it does add a little more thickness into your dough and then you're going to use about 150 grams of dana light and fit greek yogurt or your greek yogurt of choosing now if you do mess up and add a little too much yogurt or uh, oh, not not enough flour or anything like that. It's very easy to add a little more of whatever you're missing as you go through the recipe and you can really notice it as you go through. And so you really just gotta play with the recipe until you get it right. Next up, we need to knead and make the dough. So I like to start with a spoon first and get all the big clumps together as much as possible. And then once I can barely do it with a spoon anymore, I just get in there with my hands and get messy with it. This is why baking is fun and wearing an apron is important. And if your hands do get kind of sticky from the dough throughout the process, feel free to put a little bit of flour or protein powder on them. It will help the sticking stop and make it just a hell of a lot easier to get the dough into an actual formed ball. Uh, but once you are done, you will have a nice, beautiful, big old ball of dough. So as you see, I just repeated the process two more times and these are our three dough balls. 
Let's start with the recipe number one, our bagels, probably the easiest one so far as well. You're just gonna simply roll your dough out with your hands. If your surface is a little sticky, your dough is sticking to it, feel free to add a little, little bit of flour to whatever surface it is, and it will help that dough roll a little smoother. Once you get to the point where it no longer rolls easily with two hands, then I suggest getting some sort of cutting tool and cutting it in half and rolling further from there. All right, very simply from there, when you have four pretty equal lengths of dough, you can go ahead and mold them into, well, circles, but they're gonna become bagels. And make sure you really clasp those two ends together because they will expand in your air fryer. But they are pretty easy to do, and once you get one, you just repeat the process three more times. Then I like to go ahead and press my tinfoil into my air fryer, almost creating a mold so I know where it goes. Take it out and then you can place one bagel per each corner of your air fryer. Like I said earlier, keep in mind that they will rise and expand some, so leave a little gap or room in between them all. All right, next we're gonna use our everything but the bagel seasoning and well, we're just gonna put it on each bagel. This actually is kind of more difficult than you would think. Uh, the best way I found to do it is put a little bit in your hand and then take it from your palm of your hand and press it into the bagel. And once again, you're gonna do this once and repeat three times. Next, you're just gonna give it a quick spray and toss it in your air fryer for about eight to 10 minutes at 350. I think mine came out perfect around eight minutes. All right, so while I have these in, let me tell you another sick feature about this air fryer. So like I said, it's a smart air fryer and you can actually check your timing, your temperature and everything like that on your phone. So if I go to the V-Sync app, I can come in here, see my air fryer in my home, and I can see that I have eight minutes left on my air fryer. If I wanted to, I could pause the cooking. It'll tell me what time it's ready at. Some really awesome features that you get with this smart air fryer from Kasori. By the way, if you wanna check this air fryer out, I'm gonna have it linked down below in the description. So if you do wanna check it out, it'll be there for you. And eight minutes in, and that is what we are working with four beautiful bagels if I do say so myself. All right, recipe number two, our cinnamon roll bites recipe. So same general idea here, you have your dough, you press it out, but instead of rolling it, we're gonna use a rolling pin and really flatten it. Same thing goes here, if it's sticking to the rolling pin, if it's sticking to whatever surface you're rolling on, use a little bit of flour and it will definitely fix that for you. And once it's rolled out relatively thin, we're gonna start making our sauce. So first things first, pancake syrup, we're gonna use Walden Farms, but any low-cal syrup will work. Then a dash of cinnamon, probably really like a teaspoon into the mix as well. Then brown sugar swerve, this adds a really good flavor and consistency into it. Just a couple pinches of that, I actually added more than what I show in the video, but then we're gonna go ahead and stir that all together and it gets a nice, beautiful brown cinnamon glaze and you're gonna go ahead and put that all the way down drizzle it down that cinnamon roll now leave a little extra and then i just like to get in there with my hands and really spread it out oh god but really though this is the best way i found to do it and you want to go edge to edge make sure your sauce is fully covering your dough all right, next up, you're gonna roll it. And this is another reason why it's important to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of your surface. But definitely try and go for a tight roll, but make sure you're not squeezing all the sauce to the end of the cinnamon roll either. Um, so <laughs> you really gotta find a balance between loose and tight rolling here. <laughs> another helpful hint is when you get to the end of the roll, use that last little bit and fold it over the top of the roll to make sure you don't lose all the extra sauce that has kind of come up to the end. Next, I just use my pizza slicer and slice about inch bite-sized pieces um, and place them in the air fryer. Now, remember that extra sauce you have left over, that is not going to waste, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and just drizzle that over each one of these little bite-sized pieces before you toss it in your air fryer. And this one, we're gonna wanna bake about 350 for seven to 10 minutes, depending on your air fryer once again. All right, seven minutes in and Oh my, look at these cinnamon bites. All right, you guys ready for a fun one? Last but certainly not least, we are making the donut hole bites. So you're gonna start by getting your dough, rolling it out kind of thick and then breaking it into a couple pieces. I just did three. And then you're gonna roll them out into a thin, probably about quarter inch or maybe like half inch rolls. 
and set them aside. And once you have them all rolled out, you're gonna get your trusty pizza cutter or whatever you use to cut and uh, cut them in about inch lengths. Um, this makes a pretty on point size dough ball. Next step is a gruesome process. Cut, roll, cut, roll, cut, roll, cut, roll. So this recipe and me cutting them into about inch lengths made roughly 24 donut holes. So you can make them bigger, smaller, however you like, but this is what I did. Next up, tin foil in the air fryer, just a little bit of nonstick spray, and you can just go ahead and put them in. Now, if you do not separate them or shake them throughout, they will stick together. So I recommend cooking them about halfway and then taking out, shaking them, making sure none of them stuck, and then put them back in for the second half. I put mine in at 350 for six minutes, and then like I said, shook them after three, and this is how they turned out. All right, six minutes in on the donut holes, and this is how we're looking, ready for them to be coated. And so now it is time to coat them. I have some can't believe it's not butter light, about a tablespoon of that, put it in the microwave, and go ahead and give that a stir. Then we're gonna get some Swerve confection sugar, which is the very fine sugar, put that into a container and you can use as much of it as you want no calories and just put a little bit of milk probably about a tablespoon maybe a tablespoon and a half and stir that together all right next we're going to make the coating so we need to swerve brown sugar again a little bit of cinnamon and then i didn't show this but we also need the granular swerve as well so you're going to put your brown sugar in then add your cinnamon in and then you can go ahead and crumble your swerve granular sugar over top Next is another lengthy process. So you're gonna dip your donut holes into the melted butter, then into the sugar and cinnamon mixture, and then you can go ahead and plate it. So I did half of them this way, and the other half I just made ice, which is the exact same thing, into the butter, then into the icing, and then onto the plate. So I just did mine half and half, and once you have them on the plate, you are done. All right, before we do anything else, I need you to absolutely go down and smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already. This recipe session took me about an three hours. Oh my God. Just took me almost three hours from prep to where we are right now. Haven't even started cleaning up yet. I mean, we have three, technically four insane, insane recipes in front of us. All right, Perry obviously had to join us too. Uh, we have to start out with the bagel because that's the first one. I mean, truthfully, these all turned out like absolutely gorgeous um, another quick note about the air fryer it cooked all of these recipes so much faster than my old air fryer these are honestly thick enough to cut them in half if you really wanted to we're gonna dip it in some whipped cream cheese you can really use whatever you want but cheers, cheers. <laughs> i know i know what you're gonna say i, I know <laughs> i know what you're gonna say but just go ahead and say it like this is like sweet to me i mean personally i still think they're really good but like I said in the beginning, if you use a vanilla protein and a vanilla flavored yogurt, it's gonna be sweet and vanilla flavored. Really it's good. so good, you know? But like, I want it to be like, um, if it was Less just sweet, in like right? strawberry like cream cheese and didn't have everything but the bagel on it, like it would be like a sweet bagel. Mm -hmm. Blueberries in it or, so, you know, or like chocolate chips or something. That would you be good. do like a chocolate chip Wow, bagel. if I made, if I made this with blueberry bagel, if I made a blueberry bagel out of this, yeah. that would be really good. Cause it's like sweet then. Now on to, I mean, when I took this out of the oven, I literally almost shed a tear of how insanely delicious these look. I have some leftover icing. I might as well dip it in there, right? Just a little close up on how insanely delicious these look all the way around. That uh, cinnamon sauce that I made was to die for and for like no calories either. Are you dipping it in the cream cheese or in the icing? This might remind Perry of like 30 minutes ago, but it looks <laughs> insane. <laughs> Oh That's my good. god. This is one of the best things that I've had, like actually eaten in like at least like a couple weeks. <laughs> like, dude, right? Like that is so good. We have at least like how excited we get about food. Like I just I can't believe what I'm eating. And when I tell you the calories of this stuff, it almost just doesn't make sense. It almost like physically, emotionally, and just scientifically just doesn't make sense to me. Like it's just such a good dessert. The texture is so good. All right, last up we have the infamous donut holes. Quickly, let me just count how many we have. Wow, 24. It's a 24 count. That's a 24 count for 
I don't want to say the calories yet, but I will soon. <laughs> this is what the cinnamon sugar one are looking like. Honestly, they look insanely delicious. And this right here is how they look when they come out glazed. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's it. Every time I take a bite, it's just a little pfft, mini mind explosion, trying to understand how good this is. Which one do you like better out of the two? Glazed. I think because I already have my cinnamon fix Yeah, the from cinnamon that. from that. It's a really hard toss up for me, but I think I'm gonna go cinnamon sugar. Everything about this recipe, other than the time it takes to cook it is just incredible. And even then, it's not like time it takes to cook it, but it's like the preparation time is just long. All right, it's now that time of the video. The moment we've all been waiting for, how many calories is this? How many calories is each one of these insanely delicious meals slash snacks? Well, because they're all mainly the bulk of it, the same ingredients, they're all relatively the same calories, but let me go over them one by one for you. So in our infamous bagels, four bagels that recipe made and for just under 600 calories, 597 to be exact. Think about that, six bagels for 597 calories? There's about 300 calories in a Panera bagel. So you get to eat two more or double the bagels for the same amount of calories, but it doesn't stop there. When you go into the macros, we have a surprising, a whopping 47 grams of protein. So not only are you getting your calories down, you're getting your protein up and you're gonna be able to enjoy a delicious bagel along the way. Sounds like a win-win and a win to me. All right, now moving on to our cinnamon roll bites. This one is sitting slightly lower because nothing really had any calories in it. Uh, besides the main three ingredients, Walden Farm syrup, zero calories. Brown sugar replacement from Sorb, zero calories. And the cinnamon was about five calories. So it's 572 calories for that one and the same 47 grams of protein there too. And that made, I think, 10 cinnamon roll bites, if I remember correctly, 10. Um, so that's really, really good as well. And then we get to this one, which is an absolute macro monster, the donut hole bites. So with every single thing in, the talking about the brown sugar poison, zero calories with the cinnamon, the light butter, the little bit of milk we used in the icing, 609 calories for, like we said, 47 grams of protein. So when you do a little quick math, one of these bites comes out to right about 25 calories. Now when you compare the exact same thing at like a Dunkin' Donuts or a Krispy Kreme, their bites are around 50 to 60 calories per donut bite. So you're getting half of the calories in that for the exact same size. In my opinion, as good a flavor as well, maybe like 85% the flavor, if I'm being truthfully. But once again, for more protein. So we're sitting at 47 grams of protein once again. So I don't know how else to describe this to you other than like I said earlier, mind blowing. The amount of flavor you get is unreal. The amount of volume that the recipe makes is insane. Along with the extra protein, I mean, it's hands down just a mind blowing recipe, a mind boggling recipe, and a scientifically unexplainable recipe. So I don't know what else to tell you besides go make it right now. Let me know which one was your favorite recipe out of the three. And make sure, one, you like the video, because like I said, we're sitting on about four hours into this. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you can see my new recipe videos and my new vlogs whenever they go live. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.